Hi, in this video we will see how we can achieve high availability in LDAP. Basically, high availability is nothing but whenever the primary server uh, goes down, the secondary server will come up and uh, it will provide the service. So basically this is called failover and in failback scenario, whenever the secondary server goes down, the, pri uh, the primary server will come back and it will provide the service. So this is how the continuity of the service will be maintained in high availability. Suppose we want to achieve this uh, in LDAP. Uh, suppose there are two servers, primary LDAP server and secondary LDAP server. Uh, so uh, for this uh, high availability to be achieved in this, we need both primary and secondary server should be configured with open LDAP and then the servers must have same root DN password. So this is the precondition for starting the high availability configuration into uh, in the primary and the secondary LDAP server. So, uh, for firstly, in uh, uh, the first uh, primary server, uh, in the sldap, uh, uh, in slapd.conf file, uh, that is, that will be present in etc open ldap location, uh, just add the following lines, uh, uh, following lines at the bottom, and then uh, change the server details according to your server details in the primary server. Then you uncomment the following lines. Uh, these two lines that is module path and module load and then add the line uh, uh, before database uh, line and then save the file that is server id 001 so primary server you are giving uh, the server id as 001 and then save the file similarly in the second uh, server that is the secondary ldap server uh, slapd.conf file uh, which is present at edc open ldap uh, add the below lines and then uh, change the server details uh, according to your server de uh, servers. So next you can uncomment the following lines that is module path and module load again in the secondary server and for the secondary server you can give uh, uh, add the following line uh, before the database line that is server id 002. So once these things are uh, done in primary server and secondary server you can restart uh, first the primary server and then the secondary server uh, so that uh, the changes uh, made uh, for the uh, high availability configuration uh, takes effect and then the LDAP starts working in uh, HA mode. So in HA mode what happens if you create uh, uh, any user in uh, the primary LDAP server uh, so what happens is the same user will be synced up uh, and will be created in the secondary server as well. So if you delete the user in one server, uh, the same will be synced up uh, in the secondary server uh, and that also will be deleted in the secondary server. So uh, both the primary and the secondary servers are a replica of each other. So it is like uh, whatever is created in primary server is replicated onto the secondary server. So it is a replication um, uh, of one server to another server. So this is how the high availability is achieved in LDAP. Thank you. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you. Thank you very much.